And now from the Big Egg Soul City, it's KUXL. <laughs> I'm still shaking on down with our um, Encore 66. We'll be here now until 4.30 with uh, some of the best uh, old and new and rhythm and blues. Encore 66. Would you believe a winter animal fur coat? And it's reversible. Italian knit jacket sweaters with suede and leather fronts. Now to top it all off, it's that man cologne by Revlon. Snow or sleep, it's on 6th Street and it's keepers. Now my man's voice got a little weak there. We'll get back to him anyway. It's on course 66. That's J.J. Barnes. Coming to the Marigold. You know I can't satisfy all right, I don't know about all of that, but I do know the impressions come to town. January 22, the Marigold Ballroom. Dance time will be 8 until 12. Door opens, tickets on sale at 7 p.m. Now mark the date on the wall, January 22, the Marigold Ballroom. The fabulous impressions in band. One night only, tickets $3, and then everybody will sing. Now we neglected one thing, the Amazers too. So the impressions, the Amazers for you at the Marigold. City. KUXL Radio, serving Minneapolis St. Paul from Golden Valley. Moving on into it, Encore 66 again. The Ad Lib. Community News. listening to Top Dial 1570, KUXL, serving Minneapolis-St. Paul from Golden Valley. Presented as a public service, KUXL Community News at 3 o'clock. Richard E. Nelson reporting. James M. Willis of Minneapolis has been named a member of the Fair Employment Practices Commission. The appointment by Minneapolis Mayor Arthur Nathalin is subject to the approval of the City Council. The office of the 43-year-old Minneapolis attorney is in the Times Annex building. United Nations, positive action has been taken against the racist government of Rhodesia by that international body. The UN Security Council has applied to enforce certain sanctions against the regime of Ian Smith. Since these sanctions seek, uh, the sanctions sought are not broad, the results are likely to be limited. Monday, January 2nd, 1967, will be observed as a holiday by the Minneapolis Post Office. All stations and branches will be closed. There will be no delivery of mail, and no mail will be available at the post office call window. Window service at the main post office will also be suspended. Special delivery mail and perishables will be delivered as usual. Collections will be made on a regular holiday schedule. Washington. Minnesota's Republican Representative Clark McGregor told federal education officials they should enforce anti-discrimination de- uh, laws governing public schools rather than trying to negotiate unauthorized gradualism. McGregor said he didn't feel that any changes in the law were needed at this time. What is needed, he said, is for the executive branch to pay closer attention to enforcing it. Minneapolis, the office of Hennepin County Welfare Department, reports the post of Economic Opportunity Director is open due to the January 1st resignation of Larry Harris, who is taking a position with the Minneapolis public school system. The salary range is from twelve dollars to $15,000 annually, and applications may be secured by calling 332-5275. Vietnam, Wally D. Hill, 24, son of Al Hill of 1112 James Avenue North, was promoted to Army Sergeant in Vietnam, where he's serving with the 67th Evacuation Hospital. Minneapolis, Samuel L. Richardson of Minneapolis was elected president of the Minneapolis branch of the NAACP. The election was held last week at the Phyllis Wheatley House at 809 Aldrich Avenue North. 
Charlene Briscoe was elected vice president at the same polling. During the TCOIC citywide button sale, the local self-help group raised $5,000 since November 15th. The first operating fund of $23,000 was donated by Minneapolis Mayor Arthur Naftalin and the Apache Corporation, grandmother of the famed entertainer Sammy Davis, Jr. Davis spent many years of his youth living with his grandmother. And if you have news of interest to the general public, send it to KUXL's Community News, 4820 Olson Memorial Highway, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 55422. Serving Minneapolis St. Paul from Golden Valley. KUXL Radio News presented as a public service. Four o'clock edition, Dateline Washington. Dr. Martin Luther King charged the federal government today with reducing the war on poverty program to a mere skirmish. After the system of national priorities has made Vietnam a national obsession. Dr. King, winner of the 1964 Nobel Peace Prize, remarked, the generals could be forgiven if they walked off the battlefield in disgust if the investments in the war and those in the anti-poverty program were reversed. Again, Washington, high government officials have denounced the freedom of choice plan for desegregation of southern schools, calling it largely unfree, unfair, unrealistic, inconvenient, and inefficient. David S. Seeley, Assistant Commissioner for Equal Opportunities, says you'd be hard put to find any place short of the borders of the Soviet Union where the population is as terrorized as some of the Negro people in the southern counties. In Minneapolis, the Citizens Advisory Committee of TCOIC will meet Saturday morning, December 31st at Howard's Cafeteria, 3300 Fourth Avenue South in Minneapolis. St. Paul, Chester W. Oden Jr. announced this week that Road Buddies Barbecue and Abbey Lounge in the capital city will reopen December 30th at 4 p.m. Chester W. Oden Sr., one of the best known of Twin Cities businessmen, was the victim of a tragic drowning accident during an October hunting trip. The 4 o'clock edition of KUXL Community News. If you have news of interest, send it to KUXL, 4820 Olson Highway, Minneapolis, Minnesota.